You know, some tools you just hang on to just because, you know, there's such a novelty, you hate to get rid of it. You know, here at the Spruce Stopper YouTube channel, we can tend to get distracted. I was setting up to do a YouTube short on this particular tool, the Black & Decker Auto Tape. And as you can imagine, it has a switch and the tape is supposed to go in and out. Battery operated tape measure. But it gave up the ghost and then I fiddled with it and, uh, and part of it fell apart. So it has such high novelty value that I thought, well, we can't just throw it away. So let's take it apart and maybe it can be salvaged. See, with a project like this, you really got nothing to lose. Now, of course, Black & Decker and all their wisdom didn't want you to take this apart. So it's got these stupid safety Torx bits. They got the pin in the center of the Torx. So a regular Torx doesn't fit. You need the corresponding bit that's got the little female hole in the end. I have the right tool, but it does not fit in the hole. It is a too big. So being that, you know, we really got nothing to lose. Uh, we're just gonna do this. Oh, I think it got it. Look at it. Isn't that cute? Chicka, chicka, chicka. Tiny little, I don't know if we're actually on the, uh, I don't think we're actually on it. See that uh, drill bit's not as sharp as it once was. Man, I'll hand it to Black & Decker. The, uh, the plastic is pretty thick. I didn't break, I didn't break through the sides. Is that gonna to give us trouble? I think I'm gonna grab a nut driver. Let's uh, hold the end of the, the bit. What do we got here? Should be one of these. There you go, see? Now we're in business. Push down and turn at the same time. No, oh, I can't. That's too deep. Foiled again. Huh, can you believe that? Not only were they a special bit, but three out of the four screws are a different size. The first one was a T8, and the rest of these are T10s. What do you suppose they were so worried about you getting at? As I open up this uh, tape measure and it all springs to life in my face, maybe, maybe they were trying to save me that trouble. That one don't fit still. You don't ever have to get the next size of drill bit up. You, you just wiggle the one you have side to side and it, uh, it finds what it needs. There we go. Another one down. Now I know that some folks might just turf this in the garbage. I prefer to take it completely apart, maybe get thoroughly frustrated with it, and then throw it out. Something's going on with that bit. Like, I think I might have I might have given her the goods too much, and uh, now it doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to bite. The guy's got to be able to grab it and push down at the same time. Spin it and push at the same time. And the nut driver and the ratchet are too shallow. We're just going to clip it like that in a pair of vice grips. Haha, -ha, see? Now nothing holds us back. Oh, it's already starting to come apart though. Easy, Tiger. I don't know much about tape measures, but I'll tell you what, I have seen the inside of one a time or two before after I've dropped it and uh, they spring to life with force. It's kind of like taking the recoil off of a small engine when you're unprepared for what lies beneath and boing. No spring of death. Well, this has just turned into an episode of what the heck's inside of a Black & Decker auto tape. We gotta, we gotta grab one other thing here. A quick interruption of the regular programming. Tools every man should own if you're familiar with the YouTube short series. Magnetic parts tray. Because if you're like me, these little tiny screws are gonna last for about uh, well, 0, 0.0 seconds. So that's magnetic to the bench. And one, two, three, four. You know, with any luck, I'll only lose about half of them now. Well, what's exactly inside? Man, look at the rigging. <laughs> In and out. I'm not gonna touch it too much while it's apart. So it did work. And what had happened was that the battery, the battery terminals had corroded a bit, so I cleaned them. But then the battery wasn't making contact. Um, if you push down on the trap door, then it would kind of work. So what my thought process was, 
was that it was just these springs had been compressed too much too many times. Well, I reached in there with a trusty old pair of needle and those pliers with the intention to just elongate them, give them a little more spring in their step. Um, well, I pulled too hard. So it looks to me like this battery section slides out. If we just disconnect carefully a couple of wires, can you believe they're actual terminals? Now, okay, remember this, the white wire is closest to me, the bottom of the tape, the blue wire is on the top terminal. So if we detach those, get them out of the way, does that now allow us to take this out? I think maybe we can just slip that back in. Hey, somebody did a number. Did a number on that spring. Holy smokes. Your fingers need to be smaller than mine. My fear is if you take it apart, it'll never ever go back together. I just need to get those back in. Aha, holy moly. I think we did it. What was it? The white wire was closest to me. I think we did it. I'll tell you, look, the amount of effort the amount of effort that went into this tape measure is, is impressive. Look at this, the thought and everything that went into this. The battery, the terminal, the wiring, the switch mechanism. There's a, white, a blade wiper right here. If I quit moving around, there's a blade wiper. That's an override switch. Uh, so you can override and just, uh, so it'll auto retract without having to power in and out. Well, let's put the cover back on and um, See if it works. Man, I'll tell you, your guy gets a great deal of pleasure from, uh, from fixing something simple like this, you know? And getting to see how it works inside, I think, is, is intriguing. So I've really been enjoying researching uh, YouTube Shorts for learning where tools came from, where they originated from and stuff. Just for reasons like this, you know? You look inside this tape measure and you go, holy man, the amount of effort that somebody went through to design this tape measure for something that, I mean, it, it's truly nothing more than a novelty. I mean, what, um, I mean, really, an electric tape measure? I mean, is there a, who, what, what's that about? I mean, that's definitely something that would have been, back in the day, marketed through Sears, you know, right around the holidays or something like that. And you go, oh, you got to get one of these and, Imagine, I wonder, if I, if I want to... Oh, smoke. You, you guys jumped off the bench. Well, how do you like that? Now I got two things to fix. So it wasn't casualty free accident here. I got to switch, got to, switch to the big guns now. It's something a little more heft to it. Well, there you go. What do they say? The show must go on. I didn't lose any tools. I didn't lose any screws. Holy smokes, I like that little tripod too. What a, what a tragedy. I'll tell you, going uh, filming YouTube videos, you go through a little bit of hardware once in a while, I find. I have been through a few uh, small tripods. Sacrificial. You fall over and bust. You just don't always want to be mucking around with a big, you know, a big one like the one you're sitting on now you know different height adjustments and whatever that one was perfect size for doing everything i was needing for this kind of stuff or with the youtube shorts and stuff it was awesome busted now i'll have to get out a hot glue gun and see if we can make a go of it all right last but not least we switched to the t8 bit why they needed to do that, I have no idea. And it slips in there, like that. All right. Moment of truth. Let's get her loaded with some batteries. Oh, does it not? Oh yeah, it opens. Springs were all still in there and none of them are touching each other. So it says negative to the top, positive, Negative and a positive. The plus and minus signs, you know, give that information away. Oh, that's got, oh, that's got lots of spring tension on it now. Okay. T8. 
damn it. <laughs> Still, something funky going on with the, the latch. Oh no. Totally works now. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we fixed that. Uh, this actually belonged to, uh, to my grandpa. He was, uh, I mentioned it before in the videos, I think he was an automotive mechanic and uh, the man kept everything. He grew up in a depression time, so his theory was that, uh, you know, if your screwdriver fit the nut or the bolt, he would take it apart and he would throw it in an old coffee can and save it. And tape measures were no different. Um, they had a yard sale thing when they moved and uh, I bought a bunch of uh, stuff off him, you know, and, and he was having a good time, you know, tell the story about his things or whatever. And, I got a box and in this box, I'll tell you, every make and model of tape measure. Now, I said he was an automotive mechanic. He was not a carpenter, so the tape measure was a super important tool to him. He just, uh, you know, he had what worked. So a lot of Princess Auto tape measure stuff like that. I still got them kicking around. Uh, well, of course, where's one when you need one? But uh, a lot of little 12 foot tapes and this gem. So. I, I couldn't, you know, I mean, what do you do? I, I'll probably just hang on to this forever. And now, now it works too. So it's, I uh, wonder, wonder how long this thing goes. Do it, it says 25 feet. Um, I don't think it's got the power for that. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Oh, it's not sounding healthy. Are we tempting fate? We're out, we're 18. I, I don't want to push her, then we'll, there'll be no fixing that. Holy shit, look at the retraction rate on this baby. <laughs> the Black & Decker Auto Tape. Yeah, with its customized drilled out holes for easy maintenance and access. Oh man, I'll tell you, look at that. It's got, a, it's got a buckle, belt loop buckle on it. To reduce the risk of injury, user must read and understand instruction manual and always use proper eye protection. Avoid the tape as it moves to avoid possible injury. And it uses four AAA alkaline batteries, which I can tell you this for free. Do not leave alkaline batteries in things like this that you never use. Uh, because they let their insides out and uh, corrosion is not a gift you want to receive. I don't know what the next adventure is going to be, but there'll definitely be one. We'll catch you on the next video.